Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line I'm going to show you guys how to make these cherry malt milkshake cupcakes. Now, just before we get stuck into the recipe, uh, a couple things. I'm a little bit nervous about saying this because I know that a lot of you are going to be like, Nick, you shouldn't have said that, but I'm going to say it anyway. Now, I'm, I'm a fairly strong person. I can take criticism. And some of you might have noticed that in the description box, I have a little bit, like a little bit that I've written about what I think is not constructive criticism. And a couple of people have had a problem with that. Now, I encourage you guys to go in the description box and read it. Um, basically, uh, I expect when I create a channel that I'm going to be growing a community. And in that community, there are going to be people that have opinions, which I am 100% fine with, by the way. I welcome your constructive criticism. And if you have any ideas or any uh, things that you want to point out, I will take those things on board. Just a quick note, I was a graphic designer for five years. I know what constructive, constructive criticism is. And a couple of you have a problem with me talking in my videos. Now, when people tell me, Nick, you're talking way too much, get on with the recipe, what I'm hearing is, Nick, shut up. And I don't want to be told to shut up because this is my channel. And if I want to talk, I will talk. Now, now that I've said that, if anybody feels the need to tell me to shut up, they will have their comment deleted and they'll be blocked. And I know some of you might not like that and you'll have strong opinions about that as well. But I'm not going to make these videos and then be told to shut up on top of it. Uh, second thing, now that the negativity is out of the way, and yes, I am a happy person generally, I'm always happy. Um, I have created a new section on my website which I'm super excited to finally tell you guys about. It is a tools and equipment page. Now, I suspect that this is going to reduce the amount of comments that I have about the size of my scoop or which tip I'm using or what size or where did I get that from. The tools and equipment page, you can access it from my website, from the home page. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. Um, so I also would like your feedback. If there's anything that's missing from there or you'd like to know where I got specific things, at the moment, it's just got measurements for each of the things that I use. If you want to know where I get these things from, let me know and I'll try and hunt them down because some of the things I got ages ago. So it might be a little bit tricky to hunt them down, but most of the things you can find online. And for some things, I actually put the model number down so you guys can hunt them down yourselves. Um, so go and uh, have a look at that. I'm super proud of it. I think it looks awesome. I took the whole day to photograph all of the tools and equipment, so I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you guys love it as well. Now that I've gotten those two things out of the way, and I suspect there's going to be so many people telling me not to talk in my videos, um, let's get on to the cupcake. These are the ingredients you need to make them. Okay guys, so start off by preheating your oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. The ingredients you're going to need are some flour, sugar, milk, cherry juice which is left over from the canned cherries, some softened butter, yogurt, eggs, baking powder, salt, oil, some malt powder, so I'm using vanilla malt powder. Some cherry brandy essence, now this is optional. Some pink food dye and purple food dye. And some maraschino cherries. And guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button, I upload two new videos a week. We're going to start off by popping all of our dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl. Mix those on low speed until everything is well combined. Once your dry ingredients have mixed, you want to add your softened butter and mix that until it reaches a crumbly, sand-like texture. Then to a large jug, you're going to add your milk along with your cherry juice, oil, eggs, Greek yogurt, cherry brandy, and whisk it up. Now guys, I get a lot of people asking why I add yogurt to my vanilla cupcakes. It helps retain moisture, it makes the cupcakes a little bit moist. That's also why I add oil in this recipe as well. You're going to add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients in a slow and steady stream once it's all in there. You want to add a little bit of your pink food dye and some purple food dye. We're going to scrape down the bowl because you can see it's not really getting the bits at the bottom properly. Then you can mix for a final 20 seconds. I'm going to line my cupcake tin with some cupcake liners. 
We're going to pop about four cherries at the bottom of each cupcake liner and then we're going to fill these up about three quarters of the way. We're going to pop these into the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. It might take a little bit longer because of those cherries in there because they're helping the cupcake stay more moist. Then you can transfer to a cooling rack. To prepare your buttercream frosting, you're going to add some pink and purple food dye to it. A little bit of cherry brandy as well, that's completely optional. Now you can use actual cherry liqueur. Mix that until it's well combined. I'm using an open star tip and you can find the information for that star tip on my website thescranline.com. We're going to drizzle some chocolate sauce on top of that. Add a swirl of vanilla buttercream and then finish it off with a cherry on top. And guys, those are my cherry malt milkshake cupcakes. Okay guys, so those were my cherry malt milkshake cupcakes. You're going to find the recipe for these cupcakes on my website, thescranline.com. Link for that is in the box below. Uh, and if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching guys. I do truly appreciate all of you. I really, really do. You guys have allowed me to make this my job. So I know that some of you might not like what I said at the start of the video. But I felt the need to say it and that's that. If you have any thoughts on it, leave a comment. I'm happy to hear them. Um, but basically, uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Screen Line.